Hello there, Patia. It's Dr. Ian, and I'm at the Bangkok Hospital, Patia. Today we're going to discuss the cardiac pathway as part of our little series called HealthWise. My special guest today is Dr. Manoon, the senior cardiologist at the hospital here. Dr. Manoon, welcome to the program. Yeah, this is nice to meet you, too. Thank you. We're talking about the cardiac pathway. What exactly is the cardiac pathway? It's a cardiac pathway is uh, the measure for helping the, the patients to have a heart attack and then open the artery immediately for when he comes to the hospital at least 90 minutes. Right, so they've got 90 minutes to get to the hospital. Yeah. And in that time, if they get there within the 90 minutes, can you confidently say you can save lives? Yes, so we save his life since to stay in the ambulance because we have a cardiologist in the ambulance. When you have a uh, chest pain, we have the EKG. It will check and send to the ER by the uh, computer in the ambulance to the ER and then we have activated team to have the cardiologist for open the artery immediately. We're not concerned about that, that you have uh, any financial problem or not. We will save life first. Right. So you send out the cardiac, the CCU ambulance. Yes. Which, which you say alerts the ER yes. that the man is coming in. Now, these days, I mean, in the good old days, yeah. if you had a heart attack, mm -hmm. that was the end. You didn't survive. What is the survival rate these days using the cardiac pathway of heart attacks? If you treat where we have a good team and in the 90 minutes, it's where 60 to 70 percent is safe life for the patients and have the heart attack and blocking of the artery. Right. That, that is fairly significant percentage, is uh, 60 to 70 percent. Yes. For a condition which was used to be uniformly fatal. Can you predict heart attacks in the public? We can predict in the patient to have the high cholesterol, it's uh, smoking, and the diabetic, and the family history of the early heart attacks. And the uh, male so of, of your father that more than less than 60 years old have a heart attack. And your mother have a less than uh, 55 year olds have a heart attack. Or in your family have a, a sudden cardiac death in the young. That mm -hmm. is a high value risk factor. Right. But it's smoking is very important. Sure. If some of the patients, or some of the, the viewers, mm -hmm. I should say, think that they are in that high risk category, what should they do? If you have the first high risk that if you have a family history, you're smoking, I think it's just your, yourself that you help by yourself by stop smoking, but it's very difficult. But if you cannot stop, you may be asked with a cardiologist, a psychiatrist. In our hospital, we have a campaign for stop smoking. and. It's the best medicine of the world is that exercise. Regular exercise is at least two times a week. At least times is uh, 30 minutes. Right. Aerobic exercise just as walking quickly, running, jogging, swimming, playing a tennis. It's good for you. That is the best that. Right. Dr. Manoon, thank you very much. And for all of you out there, I think it is important that you take on board Dr. Manoon's advice. Stop smoking, get some regular exercise, and I would suggest that you come along and get your cholesterol checked. There are three very important factors with heart disease. You don't want to use the cardiac pathway. You want to stay well. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Ian, and I hope you enjoyed it.
and thank you, Dr. Manu. Well, thank you.